Hello, this is the TradeSite U.S. Stocks, Futures, and Forex market preview for the week beginning Sunday, the 16th of July, 2023, ending Friday the 21st, which will be standard options expiration for July. It is not a triple expiration, but this is options expiration for July. Here's a look at the dollar index daily chart. Broke to new lows uh, during the week, obviously. Decent move. Uh, pound dollar, obviously, up to new highs. You know, again, we're... Uh, seeing the maybe the end of the interest rate hikes uh, the euro dollar the inverse of the dollar index popped as well but the pound yen not at new highs currently so uh you know a decent move in forex finally and it's still summer this is usually the slowest time of the year august and july and august are the worst for forex uh, we're half size but maybe things are going to pick up um here's the es front month futures contract this is the daily chart of the broad market in futures form i'm going to point out that we've got a 13 secret sell signal now on the ES, on the daily chart, that's a big deal. Target of that is 41.89. So again, heading back towards that red static trend line would be the obvious. Um, here's the S&P cash index. Uh, again, we're at new highs, but again, with that 13 sell signal, we'll see what that leads to. Here's the NASDAQ 100, also at new highs. This thing's up quite a bit, up uh, 45% in the last, since January 1st, basically, that was the bottom. Uh, Russell 2000, not at new highs, but in the top half of the range, finally. Crude oil closes at 75.42, uh, which is kind of dead in the middle. This thing hasn't gone anywhere for a while. And gold uh, now sitting at uh, 1964, again, dead in the middle of the range. Bitcoin at 30,307. TLT, the 20-year bond ETF. Uh, nothing much here. Um, it was up this week, so... Bonds up, rates down, as they say. But again, I think we're seeing the end of the rate hike cycle. Maybe one more hike and then nothing. And then maybe next year, rates start to go down. We've got the VIX at 13.34. So after a little spike there, it's come back. Advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ was very negative on Friday, even though the market was up. Um, so just be aware of of that. Um, it's not, you know, obviously ideal. Well, the market wasn't really up by the end, but it still was not a bad day. And yet the NADS, the, the advanced coverage negative 1487 is pretty bad. Trend closes at 1.46. Uh, 10 day moving average, nowhere that matters. ES front month futures contract, five minute chart for the week. So Monday was dead flat, Tuesday, small gap up and a small, slightly, uh, slightly higher close. Wednesday gap up, but then closed where we opened. Thursday gap up, but then closed a little bit higher. Friday gap up and then drifted back. Uh, and net for the week, you know, up for the week. But again, a lot of these intraday actions were not uh, very interesting. Here's a look at the NASDAQ, same thing there. Um, in terms of the stocks, Apple, you know, not much this week at all. Amazon made new highs. Meta made new highs. Google almost near new highs. Um, looking strong on the Google side. Goldman's, let me see something here. I got to switch some of this. Goldman Sachs, uh, outside day down on Friday. Not great. Netflix, uh, outside day down again, uh, but it did sweep new highs in the process. Tesla swept new highs. NVIDIA, um, not much there in Zoom. Uh, dead in the middle of the range for the last several months. So there's not much uh, to any of this stuff at this point in time. All right, in terms of uh, economic data moving forward. Um, let's take a look here. Hold on. I've got the wrong week up, so let me get to the right week. Um, we've got final wholesale inventories at 10 a.m. Eastern time on Monday. That's after China's CPI and PPI tonight. Uh, we've got uh, consumer credit at 3 p.m. Eastern time. We've got uh, preliminary machine tool orders out of Japan. UK has got some data. There's no NFIB small business index out of the U.S. at 5.50 a.m. on Tuesday. IBD tip economic, economic optimism number at 10 a.m. Uh, New Zealand's got a rate announcement. Um, Canada's got a rate announcement on Wednesday. We've got the CPI here in the U.S. on Wednesday. That's one of the big three each month, so we'll be half size. Well, we're already half size for Forex ahead of that. Uh, crude oil inventory is at 10.30 here. Bed, Fed Beige Book at 2. Uh, jumping to Thursday, we've got the PPI, Natty Gas, Unemployment, Initial and Continuing Jobless Claims, 30-year uh, bond auction. We've got a bank holiday out of New Zealand, the federal budget balance here in the U.S. at 2 p.m. Eastern yes. Time. And Friday, we've got uh, preliminary University of Michigan sentiment at 10 a.m. Eastern time. So uh, kind of a light week, but CPI is a big one, and we've got some rate announcements around the world. And we will see what we get. Chart as usual brought to you by...
Ninja Trader. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading week.